All right, folks, gonna do a little video on the clutch uh, torque multiplier from uh, Northern Tool. It's about a, I think it was $80, I think what it was, for tax. Um, comes with four sockets. Um, it does not come with a uh, 13, 16 square. Um, doing some tires on a 920. And uh, I got me a new walk gun. Uh, trying to bust them loose. Until a couple of them ain't ain't wanting to come. They've been on there for a while. Usually, you guys have seen other reviews. This walk gun's pretty pretty bad. So um, had the walk's got a little battery on it for my new gun. But we're gonna use a torque multiplier. Let's set it up. All right, we got it set up. Of course, you got a um, one and one half, or actually the 13 16 uh, square drive on those. Um, it's a one inch drive, but I use a three quarter inch 13 16, so I, so I can use it with my DeWalt gun. Just use a one inch three quarter adapter. If you're going left, this will be resting as a hub here. Um, when you're using the face, we'll do one of the wheel face here in a minute um, where you see it inside. But I mean, I think it was pretty stuck on there and a little pressure against it. Turn it. There it goes. It's been, it's been a good bit right there. So just trying to give my DeWalt gun a little bit of a break, not having to use much battery. We're actually straining the anvil on the gun, really. Um, kind of hard to use the thing one-handed, but it does work. But the tire is off the ground with the brake cage, so how much torque it is versus not being able to spin the tire anyway. Release it back to the right. Go to the next one. I mean, it's, um. I've never used them before, but I am, uh, I've used a military version, so I never have used this one, so it's kind of a review on it, but, uh, you know, it, uh, appears to be doing a pretty good job, busted all the outer nuts loose, I said, so I could save some battery on the, uh, gun, but it, uh, gotta make sure you're on the other stud you could put it on there but you could dip that stud or that thimble trying to get it off Got a little bit of spring to it, so be careful. A couple won't want to go, but it uh, so far in the about the hour and a half I've used it, I've been pretty impressed. Usually, so I'm using that DeWalt high torque 20 volt gun, and um, in videos where I've used the Three quarter inch air gun and it's taking stuff off that gun wouldn't do. So That's it. All right, switch back to the impact gun. I mean, you can see how they come loose really easy. Yeah. I mean, not something um, you gotta work at. I mean, 
I guess if you got a one inch impact gun and a lot of shop air, be pretty well fine. But if you're on the road, I guess you could use one. So you don't have a good impact gun. Or just some are being stubborn. So that's it. So we'll do on the front hubs here in a minute. Alright, folks, real quick on the front. Pretty simple. And you just set it up. This is left hand thread. Not really cooperative when you're doing it with one hand. Spin it up by hand, it's pretty easy. Alright. Enough force on it there. Try to spin it. Heard the pop, there it goes. So, pretty simple, pretty cool little tool. So, actually, I don't need it on this side. The impact gun, I'm gonna take them off just fine. 